How's it going, y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch. I run the hardest working real estate team in the game. We are called To The Twin Cities. You can check out our website, tothetwincities.com. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home here in the beautiful Twin Cities of Minnesota. And that's whether you're moving here from across the state, a uh, different state entirely, across the country, across the planet, whatever it is, or if you're just buying a house here for the first time. So first time home buyers and relocations, that is what we do and it's what we do better than anybody else. I assure you that. So if either of these things appeal to you, do yourself a favor, subscribe to this channel and click that bell to get notified. Also give the video a thumbs up, say what's up in the comments. I would appreciate that very, very much. The team would appreciate that very much. And you won't be sorry. We do these videos pretty much every week, every week we can. And we just try to have the best videos, the most informative videos, and most immersive videos about living in the Twin Cities anywhere on the internet. And if you're thinking about moving here to the beautiful Twin Cities of Minnesota, do whatever you can to get a hold of us. Shoot us an email at info at tothetwincities.com. You can call or text the number on the screen or just go to our website, tothetwincities.com. There's a contact form there, super easy way to get a hold of us. You can also, while you're at it, follow us on Instagram at to the Twin Cities. And uh, yeah, if this YouTube channel is a deep immersive look into what it's like to be in the Twin Cities, then Instagram is a little bite-sized version of the same thing. Okay, right now, this is Lions Park. Okay, this area back here, back there, kind of where I started. There's this kind of newer build development, really nice homes, really quaint little neighborhood. You got a baseball field and then over here, okay, you got, you know, dining patio area, whatever you want to call it. Over here is just more sort of walking path, biking path and all that kind of thing. And then way back there, or if you follow that path, you get to Long Lake Regional Park. It's actually not that far from here. These people have it good. They have a really cool spot as far as being right by this little park and then right by a regional park. And great little neighborhood right there. And then in a little bit, I'm gonna meet Steve over there. Steve Wilk from the team, newest guy on the team, dude who I've known for a very long time. I'm gonna meet him over there. We're gonna just talk about what it's like to live here in New Brighton, what it feels like, what the vibe is, pros and cons, all that kind of stuff. You know the drill, you probably watched a bunch of these. If you haven't, welcome to the team. Okay, New Brighton, Minnesota. That's what this video is. Excited to show you around. It's a great place. Has a lot of really good things to offer. And we're like 10, 15 minutes from downtown Minneapolis and probably even a little bit less to downtown St. Paul. All right, y'all, let's get after it. Right now we're in Long Lake Regional Park in New Brighton, Minnesota on a crisp fall day. Yeah. We got a lake in the background there with a nice beach. Um, no swimmers, of course, this time of year, but a uh, really beautiful park. A lot of nice walking trails, uh, baseball diamond off of the distance here, various playgrounds, really large park. But yeah, this is this type of thing these outdoor spaces. This is definitely one of the biggest draws for New Brighton. For sure, I think probably, if not the biggest draw, one of them for sure is gonna be school district and it's that Mounds View School District. Absolutely. A lot of people want to be in Mounds View School District. Very highly rated. Yeah, super highly rated. We've done some virtual tours on like Shoreview and Arden Hills, a lot of which I think are served by Mounds View. We have an actual Mounds View one that we'll get to. Um, but for sure, the school's super highly rated. That's one of the biggest draws of this place. I would say maybe the next is just proximity to the city. Yeah. Super close. Really close to Northeast Minneapolis. Uh, St. Paul too. Not yeah. A far drive. Yeah, I'm in downtown. You're in Northeast. I was probably 15 minutes from downtown Minneapolis. I looked it up and 15, 20 minutes from downtown St. Paul from pretty much right here. So both very, very accessible and, you know, 
kind of close in to both cities. So nice spot if you, maybe one of you works in downtown Minneapolis, one of you works in downtown St. Paul. Totally. That's pretty hard to argue with. And being so close to the cities, you're, you are gonna be in like a first ring suburb, which is gonna mean older homes typically. There are some areas with uh, new build developments. I don't know if you can tell in the distance, it might be too far, but yeah, right back there. Right back there, you are gonna see some newer developments, but for the most part, it's gonna be, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s homes, and then into the 80s and 90s as well. Yeah, overwhelmingly, you're right. It's gonna be, I mean, probably the ranch, the Rambler is the most common house you're gonna see here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with that, they all seem to be, I mean, not all, but they seem to be pretty well maintained. The houses here, median home price is right around 350,000. Mm -hmm which is pretty much right on track with the Metro. So, Absolutely. you know, I would say relatively affordable <laughs> relative to the whole market. But yeah, definitely like a good housing stock, a little bit maybe limited as far as like what is available. It's largely gonna be that 40s, 50s, 60s, Ramblers, maybe split entry, maybe split level, and then kind of like random new build here and there, but, but yeah, mostly you're looking at those older homes. And the boundaries of New Brighton on the north side, it's gonna be County Road H. On the east side, it's 35W. South side is County Road D. And on the west side, it's gonna be Stinson Boulevard. Yeah, and then, uh, so 35W obviously serves almost the entire eastern border of it. It's a huge, you know, highway. It's a mm. main route into downtown Super Minneapolis. Accessible. Yeah. And then the 694 just cuts like right through it, which kind of gets you east and west. You could take that basically to get to downtown St. Paul. So yeah, just a super convenient spot. I think that combination of those things is like really a big part of what's drawn people here. Definitely. But yeah, getting back to the schools, I mean, that is one of the huge draws for New Brighton specifically. Mountain View schools, I think, pretty clearly the number one rated school district in the North Metro. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you're, you know, got kids that you need to put into schools in this area of the Twin Cities, Mounds View is definitely gonna be desirable. Yeah, it's a pretty big school district too. That's something that I sort of realized as, as I was doing these videos for a shore view in Arden Hills and now here, and then there's all of Mounds View, which obviously is served by Mounds View School District. Yeah, big school district. Uh, Irondale High School is an A or A plus. Um, it, you're not gonna get top five schools here, no. but you're gonna get definitely solid schools, very good like sports programs and stuff like that. Absolutely, and, and the best in the North Metro. Yeah, for sure. Short of, yeah, you're going really pretty far away to, to get better schools here. So if you, maybe you work at like, 3M or maybe not 3M, maybe you work at Land Lakes or Boston Scientific or something in these Northern Metro. Medtronic. The, yeah, Medtronic. Then, okay, best school, probably closest, most convenient spot. It's gonna be like right here, New Brighton, or in general, the uh, Mounds View School District. It's snowing a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> that's that's kind of crazy. Ready. Yeah, it's, it's like 45 degrees <laughs> out and uh, yeah, it's snowing, that's crazy. Okay, anyways, I think that's gonna be it for this spot. What a cool spot though. Well, like this is, a, this is a beautiful, this is Long Lake right over here. It is indeed very long uh, from north to south. And yeah, I don't know, this like, this whole sort of manicured path, the whole road into this park, super beautiful. Very nice, well maintained. Yeah, helps that it's fall and super cool, beautiful colors and all that. But all right, uh, we're gonna go over here. Right now, uh, we are in a neighborhood of New Brighton that we felt kind of like had a good mix of what you're typically gonna find in terms of style and size of the houses. But we're talking about pretty much, like we mentioned before, 40s, 50s, 60s built homes, 1960s, I mean. Um, various sizes, but typically on the smaller side. Relatively large lots though, definitely larger than what we saw when we were in Northeast. Um, and then you've got a mix of Attached garage, some detached, a lot of one car, 
occasionally two car anything bigger than that probably not gonna find yeah pretty much impossible mm -hmm. yeah for sure i think i think that uh sums it up pretty well and i think it leads into like our pros and cons of new brighton super well because for me I, I would say first pro is sort of like these quaint trick-or-treatable like i don't know just like cozy kind of old school neighborhoods you Absolutely. know yeah it feels like uh just classic classic neighborhood no sidewalks here that's maybe a little bit of a con but mm -hmm. a lot of them do so i don't know that i would blanket the whole place as you know not having sidewalks one but. block over there's another <laughs> sidewalk so yeah. yeah it's a bit of a mixture for sure but yeah you're gonna just you know it's this character this tree line street uh that would be my first pro what do you got definitely the schools something we've talked about Mountain View school district uh very desirable in the north metro yeah, and i think the sort of quality of the schools the you know a-rated school district of mounds view is made even sweeter by sort of the affordability of this area uh right in that 350 median price range yeah and you can find stuff i mean probably fixer upper 250 you know and you could probably pretty easily spend 400 maybe up to 500 depending on the neighborhood sure size quality condition yeah quality of the condition of the upgrades that have been made yeah absolutely but yeah like everything we're looking at here it's like very well taken care of absolutely this guy takes good care of his yard good job <laughs> dude but yeah really like quaint houses even like so somewhat interesting you know as far as construction and just like it's not just like what you would see in maybe like Ridgefield it's just like yeah. Rambler 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 totally. um yeah there's like something a little bit interesting about it and yeah the yards you said that already but yeah like the yard size I would say is a pro it's not going to be huge it's not like Lakeville or Andover or something where you're getting like half an acre um, but, but this close to the city is, yeah. which we are, I mean, pretty close. Yeah, which I, I think that's a good, another good pro. Absolutely. Yeah, super, super close to the city. We talked about that already, but 15 minutes from downtown Minneapolis, 20 minutes from downtown St. Paul, something like that. You got any other pros? And then the green spaces as well. A lot of really nice parks in yeah. Brighton. Yeah, the regional park. Not Certainly not every suburb has a regional park. And I would say my last pro would be it's very convenient to highways, 35W, 694 which unfortunately also leads to one of the cons in New Brighton is that that road noise is pretty real. We are not close to 694 right now and we yeah. can still hear it. Yeah, it's just kind of this omnipresent like hum of tires on the road. Not deafening, but yeah, you can, yeah. We're, we're outside right now and definitely can hear it. Yeah, I mean, I'd take this over like probably airplane noise if it yeah. was just apples to apples, you know? For sure. But yeah, it's if you're looking for like absolute serenity, yeah, you're gonna have to go further out, I would say, mm. to get any of that. But yeah, I mean, the silver lining of that being close to highways is that the next con, there's not a ton in New Brighton in terms of the conveniences of like a typical suburb or, you know, bars, restaurants that you get in, you know, areas like Northeast that are relatively close, but not, you know, outside of yeah. New Brighton proper. There's very little like cool factor <laughs> of like, you know, riding a bike to the bar or walking to the bar. Or, or, I don't, I don't even, I'm not even like a big bar goer, but like that sort of like piece Restaurant of culture. Options, yeah, it's not a lot. There's very, very little as far as that goes. And then even beyond that, like the suburban amenities of a Target, a grocery store. I don't know. There's very, very little of that, if any, um, within the boundaries of New Brighton. But again, you're not going to be super far from it as far as going there hopping in the car but yeah you're gonna be pretty pretty car reliant here which is true of most of minnesota but definitely true here yeah it's gonna be tough i don't know it's gonna be tough to go anywhere cool or you know just down the block and like host people even like a movie theater i mean is there i don't think there is yeah yeah <laughs> something as simple as that so. yeah you're probably going yeah to a totally different spot for anything really anything like entertainment based you're pretty much going somewhere else there's like a cowboy slims or cowboy jacks or whatever yeah um, so there you go <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the gym um but yeah pretty pretty minimal as far as that goes and then next con for me and this is something that i sort of as i was driving around making the video I realized is there's like a pretty fair amount of like industrial areas within 
New Brighton, even kind of like right up ahead. That's maybe a little bit more of like kind of a unkempt backyard situation, but like there's little moments of dinge. And then as you get close to like 35W, kind of on the Eastern edge of New Brighton, it gets pretty industrial, kind of warehousey, kind of truck, truckery. You know, my dad was a truck driver, so <laughs> no hate. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's just like that sort of big- it's not picturesque. Yeah, yeah, it's not a very like, yeah, aesthetically pleasing thing. And then my last con, I mean, it's not gonna be a con for everybody, but you are gonna have typically smaller homes. If you are looking for the five, six bedroom house, three car plus garage, entertainment basement, there's gonna be fewer options. Yeah, almost none, right? Yeah. Like if you're at 3,000 square foot, I don't know, maybe a couple on the lake. Right. But yeah, you're gonna be paying a pretty penny for that extra size and you're gonna be looking a long time. So, you know, I guess if if that's what you need, maybe expand the search beyond New Brighton. Totally, give uh, yourself some more options. Yeah, but for sure within Moundsview School District, so there's gonna be plenty of that stuff to go around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know, that's it for pros and cons. I think, yeah. We're gonna, I am gonna let Steve go and I'm gonna pop over here. But yeah, say what's up to Steve in the comments. Take okay. care. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all, right now I'm in Hanson Park, just a walking path. I know a lot of this has been in parks and neighborhoods, and that's because that's a lot of what this place is. There's not much for a commercial. There's not necessarily like a main street, like a cool downtown or anything. This is kind of what it's about. It's outdoor space and these neighborhoods, right? I guess I could do one at a school, but I don't know, it's not the best place to shoot. Okay, so if I had to sum up New Brighton and kind of three bullet points. I'm gonna say kind of a quaint old school suburb with nice, smaller, more modest homes. But okay, if I had to sum up New Brighton in just like three bullet points, uh, here's what I would say. First of all, it's kind of an old school suburb, right? So think like modest sort of 50s era homes, maybe some 60s era homes. These might be sort of like from the 60s. You're gonna get a lot of ramblers or ranches and then you know maybe some split levels from the 60s. They're gonna be pretty affordable, a lot of mature trees and kind of like tight knit, trick or treatable, walkable neighborhoods, that kind of thing. And then second, great schools. For the money, I don't know that there is gonna be many places with better schools for the money. Obviously there are better schools or more highly rated schools, but a lot of those neighborhoods are gonna be a lot more expensive. So for the money, some of the best schools you can get in the Metro. And then the last little bit is convenience. Convenience to downtowns, specifically to Minneapolis and St. Paul, specifically very convenient spot. You might be able to get better schools for similar prices or similar schools for similar prices, but you're gonna be further away. You're gonna be moving out, you know, to the edge of the Metro, that kind of thing. Okay, and then if you've been watching these videos, you know that I have a section, we have a section that we call for fans of, which is to say, if you like what you see here in New Brighton, maybe check out these other neighborhoods and you know, and they might be up your alley. Okay, that makes sense. So first of all, as I was talking about this, <laughs> just, just back there, I thought about this. I think one of the closest comparisons to New Brighton for me is gonna be St. Louis Park. You got the trick-or-treatable neighborhoods, the old school neighborhoods. You have good schools, undeniably good schools, not the best schools in the whole Metro, but very good. And yeah, just kind of the vibe, good outdoor spaces, very close to downtown, specifically closer to downtown Minneapolis. So maybe not as convenient to downtown St. Paul, but nonetheless, similar kind of a first ring suburb got a lot of similar stuff going on the other one that's come you know kind of stands out to me the other one that sort of stands out to me as being 
really similar or one of the most similar is going to be St. Anthony or St. Anthony Park, which is a suburb, another sort of first ring suburb just east of northeast Minneapolis. It's going to be maybe a little, little higher end. The homes are really nice, it's going to be a little more expensive. And uh, yeah, you're going to get good schools. I think I think some of the same schools that could be wrong about that, but generally good schools there as well. And uh, yeah, just a similar vibe, similar era of homes, similar sort of walkability as far as trick or treatableness. How about that? Let's go with that. And uh, yeah, just kind of feel similar to me in that regard. Next, I'm going to say Roseville. Now, Roseville is more suburban in a sort of modern way with all the stores and the Roseville Mall and a lot more convenient. But if you live here, there's a good chance you're gonna be going to Roseville for a lot of your conveniences, right? If you wanna to go to the mall or Target or even like a Starbucks, you might be going to Roseville. I don't know. I think I went to the Roseville <laughs> Starbucks before I came here this morning to shoot. So there is that. But definitely a bigger suburb than here. Roseville is a lot bigger. Um, some of the cheapest property taxes in all of Minnesota because they have so much commercial space, that kind of thing. So, okay, Roseville. And proximity wise too. It's like at the north, it's one of two suburbs that's contiguous to both Minneapolis and St. Paul. So convenience, you know, proximity as far as being in the northern end of the suburb. And then the next one I'm going to say is Falcon Heights. Falcon Heights uh, is a small suburb kind of like this, probably even actually probably quite a bit smaller in fairness, but tight knit, old school, kind of 1950s, 1960s houses and uh, super convenient, pretty closer in to both uh, cities than here, but definitely similar in just vibe. The vibe, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it other than driving down the roads, it's gonna feel very similar, maybe even a little older. Um, you're gonna get some houses maybe that are a decade or two older than a lot of what you're gonna see here, but nonetheless, very similar for a lot of reasons. And then last but not least is Hopkins. Hopkins feels kind of similar to St. Louis Park in that regard. Hopkins is a little more commercially than here, but I think that's one comparison that kind of stands up is sort of like the industrial nature. There's kind of this random industrial moments that occur um, in both. Again, generally good schools. Hopkins has good schools as well as New Brighton. Okay, and one thing to notice, I can't really think of a southern suburb that I would say feels similar to New Brighton. So yeah, I don't know. I can't, I really don't think there's any that really stand out. They just don't quite feel the same. So anyways, if you're thinking about moving here that's why you're watching this is you're trying to get an idea of where you want to live these videos we try to be as helpful and as immersive as possible but we can only go so far so i implore you to just get a hold of us however you can you can call or text the number on the screen you can email us at info at to the twin cities.com you can go to our website to the twin cities.com we have a contact form there super easy way to get a hold of us and uh yeah or follow us on instagram just hang out with us for a while if you're kind of not quite there yet but it's never too soon to reach out just say what's up and yeah we look forward to we look forward to talking to you look forward to showing you around and uh i don't know we love it here it's a chilly fall day here i love it minnesota is the best i hope you come here i hope you're coming from <laughs> somewhere that just doesn't have this sort of lushness or whatever and yeah, you'll be glad you did. I truly believe that. You'll be glad you did. And as always, as you exit the video, do so safely. Subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell to get notified. Give the video a thumbs up. Say what's up in the comments. We'd appreciate that very, very much. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. We did it. New Brighton, Minnesota. Look at this fall color. Come on. What are you doing? All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.